If you came to party, party, if you came to party, if you came to get down, get down tonight, get down tonight, go live tonight, live from the next sound studio, studio. Trying to party and celebrate life Tune in the next sound studio tonight It's live at 8 with the hottest in the state So tell a friend you wanna take them out of space So they can unplug to a new level With different artists who take it to a new level Then you never know what you gon' get what you gon' get You might get rock or you might get rap What's up everybody and welcome to another episode of Live from Next Town Studio You probably recognize me from the last episode, but tonight I'm your host, Sadir Listen, y'all already know the routine, so we're gonna go ahead and get started Tonight, we are featuring another group of talented artists here to showcase dope lyrics and fire vocals Let's not keep you guys waiting and bring to the stage the first of tonight's artists Hailing from New York via Los Angeles, singer LaMarco is creating a lane of his own. The product of a musical family, this entertainer is no stranger to the stage. Primarily, gospel was the genre of choice for the singer who sang for notable artists such as Marvin Sapp, Shirley Caesar, and Kim Burrell. After having the opportunity to sing with and for commercial voices like Robin Thicke and Brandy, LaMarco's signature sound and electrifying performance has evolved beyond church walls. Debuting in 2015 with Feels Like a Dream, LaMarco hasn't stopped sharing his audio input. Previously releasing a slew of singles like One Night and Let's Get Serious, LaMarco began 2021 with a 10-song LP, No Friends. Let's take it to our director to find out how this musical journey got started. Here I am, Will B. Walker, once again, sitting with LaMarco. He is the man of the hour. He's an amazing, amazing, I can't even say singer, <laughs> just musical entertainer in general. Thank so you. let's uh, get back and let's talk about you growing up and how you became Ooh. this wonderful entertainer that you are today. I know that yeah. you come from a musical family, mm -hmm. so let's talk a little bit about growing up in a musical family and what that was like for you. I grew up in the church. Um, I was a front row kid. I was always fascinated by the music and they would always give me opportunities to perform. And so I had a lot of great people who saw things in me early on that I didn't necessarily understand myself, you know? Um, and my parents were also um, musicians and singers and got a chance to play and sing for a lot of notable gospel artists like Shirley Caesar, Kim Burrell, um, Marvin Sapp, et cetera, et cetera. And so through that, I had a lot of professional experience and I was able to observe how you run like top notch shows at a young age, you know what I mean? And so when I got a chance to open for like Kim Burrell and Dawkins and Dawkins, you know, I just let the spirit move me and I saw how free those people were and, and I was just like, all right, cool. And I realized that whatever was coming out of my mouth and what I was saying and how I was emoting it was connecting with all these adults and grown people, you know? My mom was like, that's your power. That's your anointing and you gotta tap into that. Don't lose that. Don't let this be contrived. What you do when you get up there is what you do. And that's why people re are receptive to it. And if you keep on thinking about it that way, you're only gonna just grow and grow and grow. You became this great musician, artist, and you put together your first project, yeah. your first album. So yeah. let's talk about your first album a little bit and what it was like mm -hmm. to put together your first big yeah. body of work. Feels like a dream. ha. And it still feels like a dream. It's a very eclectic album of music, so it's not really... It's in the R&B category, but like when you listen to it, it has a little bit of everything on it. And it was my first expression, first of all, moving away from solely gospel, you know, to just talking about things that I've been through and, you know, things that you probably wouldn't share in the church. It's still relevant, and so it was just a really cool way to get things off of my chest and say it in my way. With that being your first album and you were uh, doing pr uh, predominantly gospel yeah, first, yeah, yeah. how was that for you? What did you go through mentally in order to make that change, to make over that crossover? Right, right. 
there's always that feeling like you're betraying somebody, right? But then I think about it and I'm the only person being LaMarco. Ha! So when push comes to shove, no matter who you feel I have to answer to, I'm the only one who's gonna answer to it. And as you can see in the years progressing of my music, like I'm saying what I want and how I wanna say it. And I feel free, so I, I hope everybody else can enjoy my freedom with me, you know, because I feel it. And that's dope, and hopefully my freedom will allow other people to be like, yeah, it, it's just me, and I'm not betraying my beliefs or anything like that. It's just, I'm speaking my truth. So in addition to uh, coming out with your first project, mm -hmm. um, Feels Like a Dream, you did some touring there shortly thereafter so let's yeah. talk a little bit about what it was like to tour the world and to perform all over the all over the world wow touring is amazing i love it it's uh it's cool to just submerge myself in so many cultures you know and get to experience how people really live outside of my neighborhood outside of the things that I see on TV all the time, you know? Now let's talk about your performances here live at Next Sound Studio. Woo. Where you really tore down the house. Thank you. You that was broke so it fun. down. That was you so you fun. gave all the energy that one man could give. The set is, the set is fire. This is, <laughs> it was like a cool ambiance to just be free. And especially after a pandemic and being in quarantine for so long and not performing or performing virtually, you know, on Zoom is not the business. It's, you know, it's, it works for what it's worth. But uh, this was just so cool to like see faces and hear vibes and hear reactions and feel things, you know? So yeah. I am good slash proud, proud of, of me. me. Yeah. Dope, dope song. Thank you. It's like you busting out. COVID's over. <laughs> I'm coming out. Y'all ready for yeah. this? Y'all need this. So let's talk a little bit about that song. All right. It's All Good slash Proud of Me is a two-part banger produced by Ego. Um, and yeah, it's just my, it's my settlement with myself that I'm good. It was my encouragement to other indie artists or anybody in any industry that feels like you're not excelling or you're not being noticed for the things you're doing if you're actually putting the work in and being diligent and like are good at what you do this is for you to be like bro sis calm down you know what i mean just like as long as like i say um i'm not so worried about the numbers i'm perfecting my craft each day i think that line is so big we live in a social media driven world where if you have a hundred followers, I've met some of the most prolific people on this planet who have a hundred followers and that's by choice. They just don't post hashtags. They don't do anything, but they'll post like a fire post once every three months. And you think they should have millions of followers, right? But that's not their thing. And so maybe if me not being a mega superstar at 20 helps somebody who is 20 get their things together now, you know what I mean? Yo. I don't control any of this. And I think that's what my realization was on No Friends, is I don't control any of this. And what I do control is my happiness. And my happiness won't be determined by whether you approve of me or not. No shame, you know what I mean? My name is LaMarco. Thank you next time for having me. I'm gonna perform some songs for my new album, No Friends, produced by Ego. For anybody with a dream, if you doubt yourself, I've been there before. Oh! Uh. Come on. Listen up. It's okay, it's okay. I'm gonna make it on my own. I'm gonna break the door down alone. Oh, yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna need a handout. You gotta try to be a standout. Funny how they got their hands out. Oh, yeah, yeah. If I be what they be. It'll be over, yeah. but I waited patiently. And the world I got to see, they might be scared of me. Cause it's over. If you slip on me, wake up. I'ma rock you, I'll shake ya. Ain't no hard to know. I'm just letting you know. I'm not worried about the number. I'm perfecting my craft each day. Even when they don't 
shout me out. I know they watching me anyway. To me, come on, you freaking me out. Everybody gets weird when I come around. I just wanna sing and protect my aura. They explore my sound, call them Dora. Take what you need, I got some more of it. It's a steep cloud of climbing to the top, but you want something if they're trying to stop you. Y'all hear that? I said, but you want something if they're trying to stop you. Woo! Come on, come on. Come on. Hey. It's got a cool vibe, y'all. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a switch up my flow. More than a singer, more to me than what you know. If you're doubting me, you're proud of me, and that's for sure. I'm throwing down, I know you want a place to go. I, it ain't never how you want when you get it. So I stay grateful, so I don't forget it. I had a big circle, now I keep my circle small. It's like buying online if you're shopping at the mall. Come on! I, I have a story, uh, but some is kinda blurry. Some is kinda blurry. Paying homage to all the ones before all me. All the ones before me. Party and play. I see you rocking, come on! Hey. I'm your vibe today. Say, say, I have, I have a story, but some is kinda blurry. Some is kinda. Paying homage to all the ones before me. All the me. ones me. Party and play. Whoa. We're up to stage. Yeah. I'm yeah. your vibe today. But did you know this beat almost went in the dumpster? But I had the feeling, tote ego, we had to trust her. See, it's the simple ones that be most fire. When you just let go and just be inspired. And say, and don't expect me not to go in. And what else, sir? And don't expect the heat just to end. Don't come to me bringing up back when. You see, see me, me now, didn't want to see me then. I thought that was you. Hey! I have a story, but some is kind of blurry. Some is kind of blurry. Paying homage to all the ones before All the me. ones that party, they play. We're up to stage. Yeah. I'm your vibe today. I'm a, I'm a, what? I have a story, but some is kind of blurry. But some is kind of blurry. Paying homage to all the ones before me. All the me. ones before me. Party and play. Come on. We're up to stage. I'm your vibe today. Now let me see your rock. Shout out to Ego. No friend is out right now. Go pick it up and support your boy. Come on. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a. Great job, Lamarco. We'll be hearing more from him later. But first, if you haven't subscribed to Next Sound Studio NYC on YouTube, let's go ahead and do that before you go any further. Now, let's welcome the next artist to the stage. John Davey is a rapper, singer, and songwriter born in Killeen, Texas, but later relocated to the East Flatbush area of Brooklyn, New York. Raised as an only child by his mother, grandmother, and godfather, he started making music at age 13. Previously known for his affiliation with the Knoxman Committee, he released the mixtape Knox Block Don in 2015, and more currently, his EP, Nothing Beats a Trial But a Failure. Here he is with our director to tell us how his story began. And of course, I'm Will B. Walker, your director, sitting here with John Davey. Going to sit down and get a little personal with him, find out a little bit about him and his music background and about his new project that he has coming out, Persevering. Yes, All right, yes, so let's sir. take it from the top. I know you started doing music at a young age. You was doing music at 13. So what was that like, doing music at 13? What kind of music were you doing at 13? Well, I was doing uh, hip hop. I was doing rap. I wasn't so much into R&B at the time. I really wanted to rap, so R&B came at a later time, but as far as me doing it, but you know, I was really invested into rap, hip hop, stuff like that. Before I used to kind of like emulate rappers that uh, I liked, and then as I started to understand how to make rap music, I started to put my own thoughts and my own personal feelings into, you know, the same kind of format that I learned from, you know, just understanding rap music and hip-hop music. I know you are a writer, so how did you uh, start and grow to become a, a writer? You know, writing is just, it's, the words are impactful. So it's like I wanted my words and my story to, you know, be felt just like how uh, artists that I looked up to, their words were felt by other fans and stuff like that. 
So, and within your writing and your own personal artistry, how do how do they relate? It just flow for me. I just I just try to be me. You know, sometimes it's scary because you, you know when you're doing something, it it takes a lot of courage to have that kind of bravery to put your personal self out there like that. Because I, I understand music now, I'm so inclined with it. It's just now for me, it's just the transition to just let people f feel me. So it's like, just build confidence. I really believe my lyrics are impactful. So it's like, I don't have no problem, yo, listen to this, or to somebody, listen to this, or someone, who, you know what I'm saying? Like, hit me out, listen to this song. Before I used to be, nah, I don't want nobody to really, you know, those songs are for me. But now it's like, yo, listen, listen, tell me what you think. Ah. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's just, I'm very optimistic with it. So it's like, it's second nature now. I know you started out in uh, performing with a group. Um, so I know when you uh, perform with a group, they kind of have your back. So it's easier kind of like, not necessarily to f fall by the wayside, but it's, you know, somebody is always there when you're in a right. group. So how is that different now that you are solo? Well, I learned so many things from being around individuals making music. Um, I learned how, I kind of got a taste of like how the industry was. So for me, being with, you know, that group for so many years, um, I kind of just took the, the good and the bad and I just kind of mixed it in with, you know, how I do things or how I would like to operate things for myself. And, you know, it's just, over time, it's just, things just became second nature. Like, I learned so much and I just stuck with it. And then I always knew I wanted to do, I wanted to be my own artist. Despite being in a group, I always knew I wanted to be John Davey. So speaking of being John Davey, let's talk about the first project you had, because you were a different John Davey then than you are now. Yes, yeah, So let's talk movie. about, not to be the child, but a failure. So let's talk about you and your mindset and where you were artistically at that point. When I was writing the music, um, I was really letting myself to the music. Like I would listen to the beats and I would just pull myself out. It wasn't something that I pre-knew that I was going to do as far as the music go. I was just really giving myself to be very creative. Um, and this is the first time with music where I felt like, because I would write the music, I would record it, play it back, play it back, play it back, play it back. And I would just listen to it as if I was listening to like an industry artist. And if anywhere felt wrong or if I, didn't, if I got mixed emotions, it could have been maybe the way I delivered a lyric or even what was said. If it didn't feel good, then I would go back and edit it. So that time I was just really trying to just be very creative and just, you know, just let things be easy flowing. And, you know, nothing beats a trial. The whole term of, you know, that term, that came from my, you know, my late father, who just passed away um, earlier this year. He used to always say that to me, you know, nothing beats a trial but a failure. You know, if you don't, you won't learn, you won't find out if something is good for you or not, unless you try. So, you know, that kind of stuck with me. So, you know, that's where, you know, the whole vibe with me and nothing beats a trial came from. So that was the old you and now the new you and perseverant. Now we have a new you, a new grown man, so yeah. you're on your grown man. Let's get into some of the songs that you decided to perform here live at Next Sound Studio. Let's start with that with Scotty Mercedes and talk about the lyrics behind that and how you arrived at, first of all, how did you arrive at the song title and then moving from there, the lyrics behind it. When I heard the beat, um, I just liked the way the rhythm was and I was just saying things, I was just, Biscotti, Mercedes just came to my head, it's just weird, because Biscotti is a strand of weed. Um, obviously, Mercedes is a car, so I, at that time, I was just thinking about smoking Biscotti in a Mercedes. So it's as simple as that, but you know, that's, that's what came to me. Well, here he is performing Biscotti Mercedes live, Next Sound Studio, John Davey. Check him out. Jit, 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 jit. Live from Next Sound Studio, Uptown New York, all the way down to BK, John Davey reppin' Bree Brother. Came to fuck with y'all tonight. Give me a little bit of your time. Let me show you something different. Yeah. Everybody put your motherfucking blunt in the air right now. Let's get into it. 
Biscotti Mercedes, she ride it, she pay me My mother the army, I click to the Navy My diamonds from Medi and they never shady Get to you medulla, I wall of them take me I wall of them, I wall of them They roll out of Peter and leave you with the CD G on my shocks and I VC his lady See me on the top I come from the gutter, your flat but you raise me Know about trades, some niggas hate it I fucked in their favorite You did what they say, they hear what I'm saying But 50 my face, I hear what you saying You thick in this bay, don't know what she's saying Leaking your way, gotta show how I clear If you not a member, I know how to Kill to some bitches that's too overrated I gave her the Migo and she put the label I pack an eighth, now I'm touching the navel Metal and Q never knew it would be fatal Rodeos on the merry-go looking like Harry go They never knew I was able Take over t too sexy, my cadence She turned the adder from such a my Scotty Mercedes, she ride it, she pay me My mother the army, I cling to the Navy My diamonds from Medi, and they never shady New York, Fortnite One, two, yeah Scotty Mercedes, she ride it, she pay me My mother the army, I cling to the Navy My diamonds from Medi, and they never shady Get to you, Medulla I roll at them, I roll at them They roll out of Peter and leave you with sex Hit the G in my shocks, and I be serious later See me on the top, and she make me a Get, get, let's get it, how y'all feeling out there, talk nice or don't speak, let's get it, GB Way, next Sam. Awesome job, John Davey, and of course you know we'll be hearing more from him later in the show. Now you know what I'm about to say, if you like what you just saw, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. All right. And now, it gives me great pleasure to introduce the final artist of the evening. Reggie Angelo is a creator from Queens who currently lives in the Bronx. After graduating from North Carolina Central University, Reggie moved back home to start her career as a high school history teacher and earned her master's degree in education. Reggie Angelou is a creator from Queens who currently lives in the Bronx. After graduating from North Carolina Central University, Reggie moved back home to start her career as a high school history teacher and earned her master's degree in education. She discovered a passion for storytelling while running a blog entitled Young Black Mind with a couple of her friends from undergrad. More recently, Reggie has extended her experience to include another master's in school leadership, poetry slamming, and her newest endeavor, rapping professionally. With proactivism deeply rooted in her life's mission, she's doing work to highlight the brilliance and diversity of black women. Here she is with our director to tell us how her complex story began. Here I am, Will B. Walker. I am sitting with the magnificently talented Reggie Angelou. <laughs> We're just gonna talk a little bit about her and she's new to the game. We're just gonna talk about how she got into the game, some of her past projects and her current project that she has coming out and some exciting news that we have to let you all know about. So let's jump right into it and let's talk yes. about why rap after, after a career in education, you do a, not a turnaround, I wouldn't say you left education because you right. still do yeah, it do but that. you yeah. just add it to your pot so why rap why did you choose rap to add to your pot hmm why did i choose rap i mean i i'm good at it that's you know that's the first reason um but there were a lot of things that i thought about doing with my time when i had additional time like even now talking about my nights my weekends my summers um like what do i enjoy what do i want to do i like music i like rap i like creating um and like i said i'm good at it <laughs> I mean, it, it entertains me i'll be like oh i said that <laughs> you know so. so and i know you you write all your material so you're a writer as well I'm so within well. writing that's a pen and paper uh -huh. how did you find your voice like how you sound when you actually put that to action. You when I very first started rapping, which was just a couple years ago, I truly wasn't thinking about my first album, More Free or EP More Free. Um, if you listen to the songs, they all sound really different. So I was just rapping. So defining my voice part, I guess that's still something that um like trying to lock down like a sound that makes sense for me always, like that I'll be known for. That's something I'm still doing. Um and I think that working consistently with a producer on this album that I'm working on right now will help me get to that place where I have a sound that um, I kind of coined for myself because otherwise I just been rapping, trying things like listening to different beats and, you know, hearing different sounds and just trying different things. So yeah, it's, it's evolving. The sound is evolving. 
And since we're talking about the music that you make, uh -huh. <clears throat> we're going to get into your performances when you perform live in Excel Studio. Um, I know a quote that you've quoted on your blog was Nina Simone, art reflecting the times. Mm -hmm. And I know uh, sometimes in your music, your music often reflects the time. So mm -hmm. in doing so, let's talk about we the people mm -hmm. and how that is so reflective of today's time. Hopefully not tomorrow's time, but probably tomorrow's times too. So let's talk about the lyrics and the right. music behind We The People. Also talk about the music video, dope music video. Please check it out. So let's talk about We The People. Yeah, We The People. Um, <clears throat> the song is one thing and the music is one thing. Um, th then there's also the video and it's also like all the parts and all the bodies that came together and like making something that was... Um, that everybody had input on and, and felt and agreed with. But uh, the song We The People, it was, I didn't even really have plans for it. I was just like writing. Um, it was summer 2020 and I, it was relevant. It's what I had to write about, you know, seeing, going to protest, um, being a part of history, being a witness to history, seeing, hearing the conversations about people's lives, um, about black lives being lost, about police brutality, about the way we experience systemic racism, about who racists are, about what we expect from our world that we live in. Um, it, it was really just thoughts, really just thoughts on a page, just writing things. I wasn't exactly sure like where I was going with it. I didn't really even have a hook yet. I was just like, what am I, what am I saying here? I'm just like saying stuff. Um, yeah, it was, writing We The People was really just like therapeutic. It was just writing things. You know, I had thoughts about the line where I said, I need reparations from you and all you motherfuckers. That, that was a reference to life. Like who, who's scamming? Reparations. Like who, did you not pay your ticket? Reparations. Like did you hit and run a car? Reparations. Like, but you know, it's like this thinking about, how we are experiencing life, um, how we're feeling, because it really, the song was emotional to me. Like, we're going to fuck shit up, shit up till it ain't no more. That was emotional. It wasn't really, um, it wasn't really meant to be a hook, but people like saying it. So <laughs> it, it became a song, but really it was more like a diary entry. I didn't have any thoughts or any plans about it. The beat is was like very melancholy. It was... Um, it was a beat that I found from a producer that I subscribed to on YouTube and I was just like, this beat is so odd and different. Like, what is it, what is it given? And I wasn't sure what it was given, but one day while I was listening to it and I was writing my shit that I was writing, um, I was like, this beat sounds like how I feel. And it sounds like what would make sense with the words that I was writing for that became We The People. And it just all fell together like that. I didn't have a lot of plans for it, um, but it just, you know, the people wanted to be a part of it, which is how the video became such a big project that I was proud of and excited about. So many characters in the video. Also, we didn't talk about it earlier, but you're an actress as well, so you have a background in theater, so you got to utilize your background in theater with this video. Mm -hmm. So good. But here she is performing it live right here at Next Sound Studio. We the people. Check it out. Allow me to reintroduce artists who speak about the truth. Dropping knowledge for the youth. Hello, I'm here to reclaim my dreams. I want it now cause it's so for you. Snap on these actors who sold out the culture. I need reparations from you and all you motherfuckers. How much you made off our blood you've been sucking. If you ain't bout it, then don't interrupt us. We breaking the structure. Little homie eating big brother. Mad cause we don't obey. We feel some type of way. Plus we got time today. Black berets. Feeling like fuck a community. If you don't own it, challenge you really control it. They're the free, but they still won't admit that it's stolen. Niggas stay focused. We gon' fire shit up till it ain't no more. Cause it's been too long, gon' it's that it's quote. The revolution's televised. It's televised. The revolution's televised. Smell like a free nigga, don't it? Ain't no head starts, we gon' start overthrowing. 
Hopping out with them skills we been honing My people prudent but our self improvement All these black bodies embody the movement This for the culture and we speak fluent. Black folk producing that life you consuming Give us the loot for the shit we influence So we just gon' have to take action We got traction We taking off for you hoes like we back then Videos tweeting they gramming and faxing It ain't nice but you lucky we axing This ain't a drill The world behind us While we breaking these ties that bind us I suggest that you take off them blinders And you bump my shit as a reminder We gon' fuck shit up till it ain't no more I ain't done with that yet Challenge the system that ain't in the bet These incompetent races with mentals unchecked If you weak, of course you perceiving the threat Sorry I mean this with all due respect But get your motherfucking knee off my neck We gon' fuck shit up till it ain't no more Cause it's been too long on this status quo The revolution's televised The revolution's televised You can cry your tears at the menstrual show You and all your peers bout to be exposed The revolution's televised Keep on applying the pressure We expect more than political gestures Keep on applying the pressure We expect more than political gestures Keep on applying the pressure We expect more than political gestures Keep on applying the pressure We expect more than political gestures Keep on applying the pressure We expect more than political gestures Don't push my niggas, we bringing the message Something about all this oppression Make me get aggressive and we be like Oh, that's how we move We from the cities where niggas is mad Rude, plus you got me in a bad mood Hoarding my freedom like prize Jews, this art I ain't in the streets You should be happy, I write the heat Your favorite rapper want Reggie on the beat Study the grace and put my shit on repeat Happy, if this the rapture You should get ready your savior cause I flow deadly My flow was colder than a broke levy We can just leave that hatchet unburied We gon' fuck shit up till it ain't no more Come on. Cause it's been too long on this status quo The revolution's televised The revolution's televised The revolution's televised the more than political gestures the Apply the pressure More than political gestures Great job Reggie Can't wait to hear more from her later on And I know that that performance just got us some more subscribers out there, right? If not, go ahead and join us and hit that subscribe button. And now, let's listen to LaMarco tell us about the meaning behind the lyrics to his song Healing and how his mom ended up on the track and we got to see you perform and entertain us mm -hmm. with the I am good and proud of me. Mm -hmm. and, but then we got to see you just showcase your vocal abilities in healing. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about healing and what it's like to perform that song and where wow. you go to mentally yeah. and the uh, lyrics behind the song. Dope, dope. Healing was actually meant to go uh, to another artist. Ego and I were like, we can't lose this, this song. It's got to... Like, people need this right now. And it's about a relationship, but it's kind of vague in a way as well. Mm -hmm. So it can pertain to anything that you need it to. Um, addiction or just whatever, childhood things. You know what I mean? Like, it's just when you really get to a point where you recognize that you need healing, it's okay to need healing. You know what I mean? And I consider myself to be a very strong person, but sometimes... I have to recharge. I got to step back in and just be like, whoa, it's too much. You know what I mean? And sit back, even talking about these things from my childhood, I'm just reliving all kinds of things, you know? And there are great moments that I've had on stage. There are not so great moments that I've had on stage. And I've been able to work through a lot of those things. And so I'm just trying to be really transparent as I can. I'm always trying to think like, oh, what's going to pop and like, what's going to, you know, hey. But then when it gets time to really put the grind on the mic, I just can't, gotta, I just got to speak my truth, you know. And I think once more people start doing, once the industry starts recognizing things like that and once we start hearing more things like this, we won't have so much wars and, you know, so many 
travesties because people will have something to vibe off of. It's just, it's, it's, it's a whole movement behind this music, you know. Uh, my mom was at the end of Healing, which is super dope. She recorded that on a voice memo on her phone. I was like, Mom, I need you to send me something. She's actually really shy. And I was like, I need you to send me something of you singing. Like, send, the, uh, send that song, I'm All Yours, which is a song she wrote. And uh, I was like, I'm going to use a piece of it. And she didn't know what I was really talking about. And then I sent it back to her, this version that we had, like, mixed her in, put some reverb on there and everything. And she got to hear herself. And that was a pretty cool moment. And to hear herself beautifully. And I was like, come on, one take. And I didn't even give you the option to do it again and do it right. Because I know she's a perfectionist, too. So, like, I was just super honored. And then I wanted to keep that in every time I perform it because I think it's cool to perform with my mom. And one day, hopefully, we'll be able to do that live, you know? I thought it was super cool, too. Hopefully, Mm -hmm. she's watching and she enjoyed it as well. Good job, Mom. Here he is performing (laughs) Healing live Uh, next sound studio. Pay attention, this man. Got the awesome vocals, all right? Here we go. (laughs) (laughs) We'll be back. So much hell because I'm still hurting. I'm having trouble moving on, and it makes me feel like everything is gone. Cause I'm needing healing for my soul. Where can I find it? Who will make me whole? Another dope performance from LaMarco, and what a touching story. We still have one more to come from him tonight, so y'all make sure you stay tuned. But right now, we're going to keep the pace going with John Davey showing us his smooth side and showcasing those vocals on his track, Rodeo. Rodeo, um, again, just like Biscotti Mercedes, uh, I let the beat talk to me. It's it's a wild night. Um, It's about a girl. I know what she wants, but what I want is best. 
she could just get lost in the music, but it really is a rodeo. So it's like, how much loss can you get? But performing it, I wanted everybody to understand the message. So it's not so much a hype track, even though it does have that vibe to it, but it's more so I really want people to engage with what I'm really saying. So again, that's another song that I love a lot. I mean, when I first wrote it, it was at the time my favorite song because the vibe is just, I just don't want that vibe to stop. And the message behind it, I love the message because it's me, but I know there's tons of people out there that can relate to that, to be honest. Performing it was great as well too. It's, you know, like that song, I never, when I think of performing, it's like, you know, you're all over stage, you're hyped up, but you know, to perform a song, to really have the crowd engage with you, um, just based off of what you're saying and the message behind that particular song, you know, it's a great thing. And you know, that's what matters to me most when performing my records and actually writing the records and recording it, just have people engage and just have a good time with me. I don't get involved, I get out my drawers, she know my body yeah. We might pop them all, we going up, we till we ride it yeah. Motherfuck the law, just need my dogs and couple choppers oh. If we stay together, who yeah. gonna stop us? Yeah. Hundred plus on the highway, cause she love the fast life Before I rhyme with a bitch, my cash right I won't love, but I can't love tonight Wanna stay, cause I'm a tight, yeah, yeah Stay cause I'm a type, I'm a type When you stay I say was right, I say was right When you stay I treat her right, yeah, yeah When you stay with me tonight 70, cause you mentioned the ice cream Let me squeeze, on the semi cause we done clean Young nigga icy, pretty thing wanna try me Got a grip with the bangers, just in case if I link wanna lie me Oh, I hope, I hope She got enough stamina for this rodeo, rodeo This life shit is really all about control And I can hold my own But I hope that she knows Cause hope You try and bullshit with me But I'm Brad on me, girl, I'm born tough And I bang with a reed and the JTT's gon' stow some Who uh, Full of rush from the speed, boom, boom And the V, no close-ups Ain't no cuff to me, no hold like, oh, I hope, I hope She got enough stamina for this rodeo, rodeo This life shit is really all about control And I go hold my own But I hope that she knows Cause I don't get involved, I get out my draw She know my body We might pop the more, we going up We two, we riding Motherfuck the law, just need my dogs And a couple choppers if we stay together, who's gonna stop us? New York City! How y'all feeling out there? All right, all right. John Davey, I see you, man. And yes, we got more to come from him tonight as well. But up next, let's welcome back to the stage Reggie Angelou as she performs a track that affirms authority over her body, her outlook, and her options. Here she is with the story behind her track and what. Um, I, I consider you to be a super fun, super cool person. I think that is kind of displayed in And What. Mm -hmm. um, you get to see not only when you're, in the, when you're performing the song, rapping, but when you're, if you watch the video, you get to see a little bit of your playful girliness, which is um, also dope to see. So let's talk right. a little bit about And What, the making of the video, the writing process of the song, and just what that song does for you. Okay, yeah. So in what was my very first video that I did, um, and it was it was so gorilla. Like it, the the song is is a fun song, and it's I'm a bougie bitch. And what like it's real fun, um, but the video was a whole lot of fun because we were at Hudson Yards Mall, and it's so bougie out there. Like I was trying to do. I had wrote out a whole storyboard. This is my first video. I was directing the whole thing. I had like all these ideas. Um, 
but one of the ideas was like the pretty woman scene, you know, when she's like, big mistake, big mistake. <laughs> like that was the whole, like that was my plan for the whole video. Um, and the mall was like, no, you have to get clearance. You can't do this. Exactly. You can't, and then this can happen. So I was like, okay, well, we'll just be outside. And um, my friends, which I just like told some homies, like pull up, put it on Instagram. Like anybody want to be in the video? All of the clothes that were in the video I got from the thrift store, they were all my, well, they were clothes that were in my closet that I've had from the thrift store for like a long time. Um, they were all clothes that I wear to work as a teacher. That's kind of my aesthetic. But um, I dressed everybody and I was like, come on, let's do your hair this way for this scene and that scene. And we just did it all outside. That video cost like $250 to shoot. It was just a fun video. It was, I'm, it came out so great. I'm kind of shocked because it was really just all me and my friends like, let's shoot a video real quick. Let's have some fun. Um, I really think that what made it cute and what made it pop is that the song was actually good. And the song is danceable. So um, I'm excited that like it, it turned out how it did and that it translates, you know, every time I perform it, people are like, they want to see the video. They want to see like, I'm a bougie bitch and what, so. And how did you come up with that? How did you come up with the lyrics to that? You just write in jot in one day I'm, or? I don't, I really don't even know. Like it's, I'm a bougie bitch. So, <laughs> and what? Like it was, I think it was more of like a statement of fact, like. All of the things that, you know, when rappers, when you hear a rapper, they have things that they say, like Hot Girl Summer or, you know, with the Nikki. Um, who am I? Like, that's that's what I was thinking about when I wrote it. Like, what would I say naturally? What's something that makes sense to me? Um, I'm a bougie bitch, generally. Like, I want things, like, you know, it's a little bit. And what? Because that's my personality. So, yeah, it's all of this so far, all of the work that I've done with music has not had um, too much thought and energy. It really has just like flowed that way. And I'm, I'm for something like and what I'm glad that it translates to something that does continue to be like have that same energy, that same message that is just like fun. We chilling. It flows that way and you could bounce to it. Well, here she is performing and what right here live next sound studio, Reggie Angelou. Keisha rolling up in the back, Tina twerking, it's your boot, better get him on my face, that's for certain, I'm converting all y'all mans and the Reggie fans, I be on that New York, follow like a caravan, I be on that who to everything about me motherland, no, you know my game plan, big moves cause I can, say what I want, political triggers, I'm a grown ass woman, also a real nigga, gone by your bottles, boy, I own that club, don't try to be like us, y'all can never sub, real ones be supporting, but the haters snub, the only way to get to see me is with a ticket stub, if my feet need rub, the from between my shrubs, and if they still Flows, I'm chopping off a hand making up If I order, they the one and pick my Thai food up I'm putting rabbits on them and you get your light chew up What? If they ask for your number, get a gram up Cause who got time for a rent? I'm trying to handcuff Keep my face wrinkled up like a walnut It's confirmed I'm a bougie bitch and what? It's confirmed I'm a bougie bitch and what? It's confirmed I'm a bougie bitch and what? Keep my face wrinkled up like a walnut it's confirmed I'm a bougie bitch. Yeah, I like boy. my polish, yo. Baby, here's as well. Only time I take a red is if it's simping dough. I'm so pretty, got him calling me the Afro Bell. I won't stay in less than a five star hotel. Move out my way, keep the hate at bay. Need a present from all you kitties on Mother's Day. Yeah, I bring them through the stages like I'm PSJ. I ain't playing nice, in fact, I did not come to play. I'm one stuck up trash talking nigga. I grab the mic and get the hands raised like a stick up. Itty bitties, but this ass wide like a pickup. I'm in my bag when I rhyme, don't disrupt the artist. Flow, rap Rousseau, spit until your brain is soaked. It thoughts provoke. If you heard the words I spoke, you seen the smoke. Then my lyrics burn your brain and cause a stroke. Then my lyrics caffeinate. Of course you won't. My lines is dope. It just some shits like lines of coke. With the road up hundreds till you hooked on phonics. And if you ain't catch the artistry, rerun it. I said caffeinate. Of course you won't. My lines is dope. Yo, my man, I got these bars I wrote. This is scratch a mean itch for a rap fiend. All the mother dealers is about to get their clocks clean. If he asks for your number, get a gram up Cause you got time for a rhythm trying to handcuff Keep my face wrinkled up like a walnut It's confirmed I'm a bougie bitch and what? It's confirmed I'm a bougie bitch and what? It's confirmed I'm a bougie bitch and what? Keep my face wrinkled up like a walnut It's confirmed I'm a bougie bitch and what? Yes, I assumed you was looking at me Heads in the cloud like Tuskegee Pinkies up while I sip my tea Real ass bitch still bourgeoisie Yes, I assumed you was looking at me in the cloud like Tuskegee Pinkies up while I sip my tea Real ass bitch still booze
bourgeoisie. Listen, what did I tell you guys? The talent tonight is amazing. Now, we know that you've already done this, but if you haven't, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you won't miss out on any future performances. Now, as we promised earlier, we have another performance from LaMarco. But first, let's take it to our director to find out what the meaning is behind the lyrics of Wallflower. Off of your album 31, you Ooh. perform Wallflower. Yes. What a treat that was. Thank let's you. talk a little bit about the lyrics Mm -hmm. and the message behind Wallflower. Wallflower on um, 31 was produced by Twaner, uh, um, and it was, it's a very eclectic song, very, um, I don't even know, retro vibe, it, feel, it gives me retro mm -hmm. feels. And I was watching Call Me By Your Name and there's this scene where one of the main characters is just like, just vibing, and it kind of had this kind of feel, and I was like, yo, this is what I always want to feel like, as long as I can, you know? Um, and you go to the clubs before they were closed, and I'm anxious to see how everything happens as it progresses now with things opening back up. But, like, I can remember so many times people are just, like, standing there, and I'm like, what is wrong with you? There's, this song is banging. And even if it's not your jam, the music is still playing, so enjoy it. And Wallflower is kind of about that, but it's also sh socially, you know, it, it starts with, um, he came over and said, what are you doing here, boy? And I said, call me anything you want tonight. I'll be that boy, because I'm gonna, I can feel it in my body that I'm no wallflower, right? And that speaks to like, racially, I, you know, being w questioned and profiled. What are you doing? And you know what? If I gotta be that, if I'm your thug, I'm your thug. But you know what? You're not gonna stop this beat. You're not gonna stop this groove, you know? Or, you know, you're not masculine enough. So we clocked you. Well, then clock. I'll be whatever you need me to be at that moment. You know what I'm saying? It's just being who you are and being free. And, and that's, that's all I'm trying to do. And I think each song, if I can sneak it in there somehow, I'm going to do it as long as I can. You know? You can see your freedom. You feel yeah. your expressiveness. Come on. It's, why not? You can why feel not? it in your body. <laughs> here he uh, yeah. is. Uh, here he yeah. is performing. Wallflower right here live. Let's Next sound do studio. this. Let's rock. Let's rock. Right. This song is Wallflower, produced by Twaner. And this is for everybody right now who is hurting. The world is in so much pain. And if we could all just mind our business or dance together, I really see a change. Come on. He came over. He said, what you doing here? Said I'm dancing, call me anything you want Tonight I'm that boy Hey! Cause I can feel it in my body Say I can feel it in my body say, You just gotta feel it in your body, y'all Come on! Now say it Ooh, 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 ooh. Listen I wanna start a new life I wanna run away from here They say my future is bright But all the lights have seemed to disappear Now say I can feel it in my body Oh my God, we need some healing in the world. But until then, have this mentality, all right? Woo! Taking my safety, checking my security, but you can't take the beat that's inside of me. I'm going Let me see you dance, come on I'm going on, say I A little louder, say Woo! Come on, come on, say Cause I can feel it You can't break me
Cause I'm no wallflower Another great performance, LaMarco. And now, closing his set with triple three times, let's bring to the stage once more, John Davey. You see all of your uh, training and all of everything come together when you perform triple three times. It's like you're a star out there. It's like the world is waiting to see you. The world is ready for you, waiting on you. So let's talk about the energy and the motivation behind triple three times. Well, Triple Three Times, that's a song that I really wanted to get raunchy on. Um, I really wanted to, you know, show my, what you call it? What they used to say for Razor Ramon? Machismo. Machismo. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to show my machismo. I wanted to, you know, just be, you know, brolic on the track pretty much. That's more so for like my rap fans, people that cater into like, you know, real rap bars and stuff like that. Um, that was the whole vibe of that track. So. It's a very energetic track, so you know, performing it, I really wanted to, you know, display that. I wanted to exude that, um, and just performing it, I, I felt like I was in the track. I was like in the song. Like, it's weird. I don't know how to explain it, but it's it just felt like I was in sync with the record performing it. Um, it's a very fun record. Here he is performing live next sound studio triple three times. Also, be sure to check out his EP, Nothing Beats a Trial But a Failure and also Perseverant, out on all music platforms. Yeah. Yeah. Eat on my bitch from the menu, she act up this cat, never fuck with my mental. Finna go put on some leather, she know be just know she gon' do what she meant to. These niggas shoot on whoever, only take one just to make it unpleasant. She gon' do what I tell her, baddie gon' lower you to die in these seconds I'm intact with the members, just a twist, get balance the pressure If you miss, get distracted forever, just got a new chitchy, I'm chitchy whatever Back up the stitches, she shittin' on inches, her niggas dismiss, he's still not on level And she don't get nothing unless she make bubbles I hear the lid, just believe it turned double We claim the same thing, that's why it's gonna triple We test out a stick, touch little whip Just got a vasectomy, just cause she sweatin' me, she still ain't gettin' no kids that's to the death of me, I need the weapon, we can't control niggas for shit Throw my hands before I get a grip That's just me, I know niggas who itch Stretching my revenue, we tell acceptable My bad bro, she never mentioned you Blissin' will leave you on ABC I promise your family won't better lose She gon' be doing the same thing the kettle do Can't know one alter her when she get ready to I'm underrated, pen is impeccable Fuck it, we snatchin' my cars, brought the metal through I come from Brooklyn with choppers and seven you Niggas not built to be service and federal Pussy is body and we know it's scheduled Trip on my last, I can't see the men Yeah, nigga, I hear you Chatting that shit, but still can't bring the fan You play with your life, motherfucker, I dare you Nigga, these wolves, yeah Fuck with thoughts right outside of the lot all that mag is my drink with the shots. Look like lacking, but trust me, it's blocks. Mills get the mop. Shorty won't go to the top. Yeah, she trying to top. Step on my pass, well, let's get to the squat. And I'm taking the block. Eat up my bitch from the menu. She act up this cash, never fuck with my mental. Finna gon' put on some levels. And I'll be the smell, she gon' do what she meant. These niggas shootin' whoever. Only take one just to make it unpleasant. She gon' do what I tell her. Baddy gon' lull you to die any sense. I'm intact with the members, just to twist, get and balance the pressure. If you miss, get distracted forever. Just got a new shitty, I'm shitty wherever. Back up the stitches, she's sitting on inches. A nigga dismiss, he's still not on level. And she don't get nothing unless you make bubbles. I hit a lid, just believe it turned double. We claim the same thing, that's why it's gonna triple. Yeah. Pretty brother, nigga. New York City. Pretty brother. Next down, studios. Everybody scream. Another dope performance from John Davy. As always, we hope that you've enjoyed everyone's performances tonight. Now, you can also follow me, your host, Sadir, by just going to www.roseboymusic.com. From there, you can find out everything that there is to know about me. Now, as we close out the night, let's take it to our director once more to find out about how Reggie Angelou came up with the lyrics to her track, Up. But before we get there, Everyone that hasn't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below and subscribe to Next Sound Studio NYC right here on YouTube. Once again, it's been my extreme pleasure hosting tonight's show. Let's take it to Will and Reggie to hear the story behind Up, and we'll see you next time right here on Next Sound Studio Live. Let's talk about More Free mm -hmm. and some of the songs that you performed from More Free live Next Sound Studio, starting with Up, 
even though you don't like tell much about your personal life, you do get to know a little bit about you in that song. So <laughs> why did you choose to use that song to disclose some personal things about you? Oh, what was personal? What did I say? You said you uh, uh you said you. <laughs> they told you to choose a career, so you chose two. Oh, right, um, right, right. You right. said, um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you career, how about to pick two? two? Yeah, how yeah, about I tell these kids to go to college and still do my artist shit in plain view? There you go. Right? It, you know that's, what? It that's was, personal. It is personal. <laughs> it is personal. Um, I, I guess at the time, I felt like it was, you know, you, you got your, like, 500 people on Facebook that be looking at your life, and they're like, oh, what you doing now? What? You rapping, huh? You know, that was... That was the time, that was the place where I was in my life. Like I was doing so much with, um, so much in education. I, I Personally, I felt like I gotta be a politician for education right now. The process that I was in was opening a charter school and that was, had so many things to do and it had so many people to, to talk to and it, the community I had to talk to. So for me to say like for myself that what i desire is to pursue art right now to um to dance to model to rap to act and to do that with all of my time that i want to i think um i felt that people had like questions about that like what you can't that's not what we expect from you you can't just do that um and my my response to feeling that like confusion or discomfort about people having an opinion about what I do is like I'm go I'm going up I'm only going up I'm doing everything that I want to do for me I'm doing the most that I can I'm trying to flex every talent every ability every thought that comes into my mind I want to grow it to something bigger and better and better um and and that was up so I think in writing something like you know how about i tell these kids to go to college and still do my artist shit in plain view it was like you don't you don't have to hide it yeah no i'm not don't make me small like teaching maybe that's maybe that's all you could do if you wanted to be a teacher but i could be a teacher and i could be a rapper and i could be a dancer and a model and an actress and have some weed stocks too and grow a business that you never thought you could grow you know so there are a lot of different things that um I desire to do with my life and I just plan to keep going down a list and checking them all off and that's kind of what up was for me that was like my declaration f to myself of like this is what I'm doing right now like I'm I'm rapping and oh I, I rap rap because up there's no hook and nothing like that it's just I'm rapping for three minutes so that's what up was for me like you're oh, ready to be rapping that song rap. for a long time you're gonna be <laughs> rapping that song for a long time so I'm glad it's your story and you're speaking your truth in it. Here she is performing live Next Sound Studio Up. <laughs> Feeling my vibe, thinking my God I'm alive Started believing my hype, industry right Young nigga earning my stripes, haters starting to subscribe They said don't bite of more than you could chew Pick a career, how about I pick two? How about I tell these kids to go to college And still do my artist shit in plain view uh -huh. Telling that Gucci and nice is alright But I need me a gentleman that got degrees He might not have a watch but he got some new keys Making investments and rolling up trees Aiming to please a girl with knees Ain't never stunting them Lascizas Keep me smooth, I Bermuda, Indonesia, Indivisa Flaunting my black skin everywhere We walking through like some billionaires Got some bad bitches with kinky and curly hair No, you don't know that my bitches is hella rare It would be stupid to step to my team And I mean that we go over and we on the scene For girls who know all the lyrics to cream Real rapper niggas know what I mean I mean the whole country going south like the cricket letter I I like tall college keeping cricket niggas high 25 white skin men in a room making rules from a womb nigga why? Doing this shit since the 4th of July Stay eating more than they slice of the pie Had the audacity to rape the world Ain't gonna say abortion ain't justified Reggie right, came through with these facts and a smile, my G Writing like prodigy If politics and why I'm spitting is criminal Go ahead and put me on trial, my G If I fall down for them, maybe they can see You got a smooth talker fucker with the B All these rap clowns wanna push up on the kid Probably never had a ring message like me All these rap clowns want 10 for a feature I don't need your feature, bitch, I'm rolling one D Couldn't touch this with a potent V I'ma get the strap, not the shoddy, but the D And when I'm like, fuck, do you know what that mean? If you need a better reason, then take one knee I'ma give you two, then I'm through So get used to the view, cause I'm up at the top of my crew Rap it slow so shit can sink and they not rapping, they lip 
sinking, my boss keep you deeper thinking Politicking, why I'm spitting shit, just call me David Dinkins Cause I'm black and I speak facts, now these labels mad, I read the contract Smack the smurf over, said hold that, so don't fuck the deal and that roll that I'm betting on the rips when I ever come through Me a shorty in America getting tight like glue Had to remind her she poppin' cause all that being wack and hobby get caught up the view Y'all be rappin' like for real snappin' Finish performing then they still clappin' Fightin' my demons and we still scrappin' Some of us suck but others still nappin' If you came to party, 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 if you came to party, if you came to get down, get down tonight, get down tonight, go live tonight, live from the next sound studio, studio. Trying to party and celebrate life Tune in the next sound studio tonight It's live at 8 with the hottest in the state So tell a friend you wanna take them out of space So they can unplug to a new level With different artists who take it to a new level uh, And you never know what you're gonna